What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video today. We're diving into the beautiful new course, Tingle Creek, England, from the great design dynamic duo, Architects Maze and Ohio State Mike. Many of you may know them by the name Steve Manley and Mike Heron, but these two designers, their course collaborations are always on another level, and they did it again, everybody here at Tingle Creek. And I'm so excited to showcase this one to you all today. Get on out there, play this course in game, and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Today, we're going to be diving into the course from the back tees. So the back tees here are the green tees, 7,692 yards. It is a long golf course. Going to be played pin location number one, medium wins, all the rest default conditions. I am so impressed every single time these two designers design a course steve and mike are on another level thank you for the hard work again to this dy dynamic duo in the design world if you all get some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and i have plenty of other course showcase videos and other pga 2k and other sports games content here on the gamer ability youtube channel and even more on my second channel Gamer Ability 2, subscribe to the second channel if you haven't done so already. Plenty of great content over there as well. But let's do this. We get to the first tee, and it's just like, what? Absolutely beautiful. The way the flowers are planted to the left and right of the tee box. The waterfall right over this creek. Incredible. Like, I don't know how they do it. What an exceptional first hole tee shot though. And you all, you all haven't seen anything yet. Like this is just the beginning on what this beautiful course has to offer. It is, it is insane. It's gonna go ahead and tell you all that right now. This course is fantastic from start to finish. And here we go. So we have the, I guess it'd still be car. I don't, it's just, this is not a creek, right? This is more of a pond, a lake. This might be the lake portion, but the creek runs throughout this golf course but it is just gorgeous i mean fantastic and one thing i really like what they did so you have the green you know most of the course is green trees right but you have the red trees and yellow trees and orange trees thrown in and flowers to give it kind of some color out there it's just a beautiful plot of land i mean wow they did it again and if you all have not seen a course from this dynamic duo I highly recommend you play them all. You know, Steve and Mike, if you come across this this video, leave a comment letting us know your other courses. I can't name them all. They've they've designed so many great ones. I can't name them all right off the top of my head, but every single one is gorgeous. I and mean, this part of the course, this golf hole right there is insane, and this one too. But it's just beautiful. There's so many beautiful moments on this golf course. You better bring plenty of golf balls, but one of my favorite portions is right here up in this area where those rocks are. I love that portion of this golf course. I may not be saying that after we smack it in the water a few times. <laughs> yeah, this is just amazing. The whole environment, the attention to detail on this golf course, the planting, it's all superb. I mean, just wow. That's all I can say. They did it again, everybody. They did it again. Steve and Mike. We're back again with an incredible course. Let's see if we can ded dedicate some good golf shot sales. Starting out with a 457 yard par four here. I'm not gonna say anything about how the swing felt at the driving range. I'm not gonna say a word. It could have been bad. It could have been good. It could have been just average. We don't know. Good shot. Setting up around 130 yards. Look at that planting. Just superb. You all see what I'm talking about? Like most of it's green or dark green. We had the, the yellow hints, the red hints of color as well. Like throughout, it just adds a nice, nice aesthetic to the course. Let's go pitching wedge. Slight partial and attack. been so many incredible Shots courses coming out recently i mean it, it's been amazing it's been amazing what a oh, shot work on the green won't it Ooh, setting up for birdie here john's fired up today you hear him 
Oh. Let's go, John. That a birdie to start the day. Amazing. A one under to start. That is a great start. Let's see if we can keep it up. And Get your coffee, hole, whatever you're drinking. Cheers. Teeing it up on the second hole. It's gorgeous. I mean, wow. It's gorgeous. Course is on another level. And you're going to see a lot of screenshot moments on this golf course. I love the planting here on the tee boxes as well, like right around it. Beautiful. That thing, a, a water? A water will? Somebody, wait, somebody answered this the other day. It was on another course. Uh, I think they said it was a water will. I don't know. <laughs> I think we just sit that right into the sand. You hate to see it. Swing plane was interesting combined with the fast. It's in the bunker all day. Get out of this bunker and on our way. 171 yards, uphill 20 feet. It's six iron to play here. It's 81 to 91% lie. Slight tailwind. No, I think we need more. I think I'm going to have to go 5-iron. I didn't pay attention to the green speeds on the first hole. I should have. Look at that. Hold. Come on, ball. Let's go. What a shot. 15 feet to go from here. I will say on the course showcase video on Monday. Wow. My shot was all over the place there. What an incredible course that was by Rhett, Te Rhett, Rhett Teach, Kinsey Pass. But I was playing good golf, don't get me wrong. A lot of birdies, but so a lot of inconsistencies on that back nine. So let's not do that today. I had a lot of close putts that round. Going Cut! Towards that hole. Oh, that'll work. I mean, That's we crushed that putt. Bird. Look at Ryan Gamer fired up right now. Of course he's fired up. He's playing all the sports at a high level. Things down to two under after that one. He's dominating. This one's a par three. Dominating in Major League Baseball right now. If you're not watching the MLB The Show series, I highly recommend it. Ryan plays for his team, Cincinnati Reds, and is dominating in the majors right now. It's it's epic. But what a view. The waterfall to the left. This is fantastic. Wow. I don't know how they do it. I think I say that every time I play their courses, right? I'm pretty sure I do. It's like, how is that possible? I'm sending this one. This is uphill 30 feet. It looks more uphill than that, actually. That's beautiful. It's got a hold, though. I know some of you were hoping for a shot dedication there, but let's save like them. It. We're playing like some Greek golf. Let's let's not get carried away. Putt coming up. Who knows? Maybe I'll save the dedications for the last three holes on the course. Maybe that's not a bad idea, actually. Keep you all patiently it's waiting. The hole. Oh. What I get for talking during the shot, right? Six. I mean, swing plan was great, so it was just a misread, but... There we go. You hate to see it. We'll take our birdies and, and be out our sense. way. Sticking right there at two under after that. Hole. I'm going to send this. I mean, it's 557, downhill 39. Just look at the way they sculpted this golf course and framed everything. Wow. Is there out of bounds here? We're about to find out. And here's our <laughs> okay. second shot. Good, good. Imagine if that would have hit that fence post and just rolled along that cart path all the way down. So no out of bounds. Thank you for that. Now, oh, I think we've just got to put this up over the fence, right? Let's not get fancy. How much we can do there. That's unfortunate. 
What a beautiful golf hole. And that's what I'm talking about. See the trees in the backdrop? You had the nice color, like the co nice changes done, the color, the which fairway. really adds like to let's, uh, let's just the beauty of the damage. course, you know? Variety of colors is always nice. I know it doesn't always fit on courses, right? Some courses it just wouldn't fit to add random colors. It's just like, where did that come from, right? But you can pull it off. I love that. Like, if you're playing a desert golf course and you just randomly had, had these beautiful red it. trees and everything around. And here we go, potential birdie. Or a lot of trees that aren't dead, you know, may not be fitting. Let's go. Well played to you. Depending on where the golf course is located, of course. Three under after that one. It's amazing. Let's see how we do here on the fifth. I, I can't believe how good we're playing right now, but this golf course, every single golf hole, is a postcard moment. Get the plant. The planting around the tee boxes is superb. Wow. Steve and Mike did it again, YouTube. They did it again. Like, wow. Oh. 492 yards, uphill 46 feet. You got some good contact on that one. That is gorgeous. Where's that swing been all week? That's the swing we need. Beautiful golf shot. And this one is around 180 yards to the pin. With the way this is sculpted, we might be able to send this right off this slope. Right to left. It's 180 yards left, uphill 22 feet. In between clubs. I, I don't... I think we go 6-iron D-loft, actually. A little fancy here. Why not? That's a good shot. That's actually a perfect distance control. So I was going to shape that from right to left off that hey, slope. I'm liking this. You're uh, hitting lots of greens, it seems. We went the opposite way that time with the swing, but that was beautiful. About six feet. I glanced right over the fact that that could have been a dedicated Albi. Huh. I was so focused on the shot, I didn't even check what it's for. Let's send this eagle in. Too late to dedicate it now. This putt's tracking. Yes! Oh, yes! That's gonna go down for the eagle. But we have to remember, in the last showcase on Monday, I played some great golf on the front nine. An eagle, a lot of birdies. And right now you are at The back five. happened. And All right, let's see what we can wow. do here on the sixth hole. Just beautiful. I mean, even the planting, like the tee box planting is amazing. Like around the tee box. Also, the house is here. It's a picture perfect golf course. I mean, wow. Gorgeous. All you can say, right, is it's just absolutely gorgeous. This this is a picture perfect golf course, really. How many screenshots have I taken? <laughs> a lot. Let's just say that, but it's just fantastic. Y'all didn't know I'm Ryan, the course photographer? Tour course guide? 201 yards, downhill 21 feet. We have a backboard here. Still saving my shot dedications. Well, you made good contact with that one. It is a good thing, too, but what? Is that the swing play that messed that up, or did the wind switch? Well, missed the green on that one, but uh, I've already forgotten about it. Have you, John? John's already forgotten about it? I bet you have, John. It would be funny if after that line, John would say, No, I still haven't forgot about that shot. Let's do better next time. Down the slope. And it's got a check. Yeah, the problem with that shot, you have to get that up and over that red slope. If you don't, you're just not going to stop it. Hit that way too short. Ryan's shaking his head out of disappointment. 
to save your par. And you're five under through six. It's all right. 13 footer uphill one inch. Left to right putt and it's breaking quite a bit. No, it's getting Get there. in. Yes. Well the putter's hot. Three birdies and an eagle and two pars here to start this golf course. Playing some exceptional golf. And you'll still find yourself at five under after that one. This golf course is fantastic. Four ahead of us. Both courses this week have been phenomenal. Wait a second. Is this a trap? I think there's a gap there, right? Not what I was trying to do. Where's the caddy book? Is that out of bounds? I think it's a trap. I get carried away. <laughs> I oh, that is good to know. It was a trap. We couldn't get over that. You could probably draw it, like do a mega draw and hit a good shot there, but we did hit a good shot. But you could probably okay, cut the gap a little bit more. All right, setting up now at about two hundred. I'm yards interested away. in seeing how you all play that tee shot. Let me know in a comment if you're playing this along or you remember after playing this golf course. Let me know what you did on seven. Did you do a mega draw? Did you do what I did? I feel like there's definitely another shot to make this par four a little bit easier. A little bit shorter. Let's look at this side hill line. This is going to be a tough shot. I'm going to go five iron here. That's going right at it. Swing playing was, yeah, it was it was entertaining. If you missed it, don't look at it. Nothing to see there. The swing plane was perfect. I actually am surprised with that swing plane that that ball went there. <laughs> go If you missed it, go back and watch that. And then pay attention to where the ball went. Safely on the green. It was and so four, unique. Eight, score of six under on the round. That the game that had no clue what to do. Game's like, I don't know. I've never seen this before. Let's just send it straight. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I've never seen that before. Let's just put it here. Wish the game did that more often, right? Ryan, that was so unique. We're going to reward you for it. Thank you. Oh, man. Not bad. Not and bad. For the par. Not great either, but we'll take a good. par. Keeping Next it bogey putt. free. Why did I say and that? Five <laughs> under for your score at the moment. I'm not supposed to say bogey free into Stepping the end of the round. I know. I caught myself though. Look at this beautiful, beautiful golf hole. 388 downhill 72. You better believe I'm going for the smaller part of the fairway. You know, when you miss swing playing and tempo, you better miss in opposite directions by a mile, which is what we did there. That was a mega pull and a mega slow. Uh, this one's going through some brush. And we'll take it right Not into the rough, lucky. though. You didn't deserve that. Thanks, Sean. Second shot here on hole number eight. Sean's right. We didn't deserve that. 54 yards, uphill 5 feet. We have a big line range here. 59 to 73%. That's a big difference. That's going to be tough. I still like the law boys, though. Got the 70% and I 104'd it, which is not what I wanted. It's gone. That's unfortunate. I feel like we had the All club. Right, we're back in the fairway. I really do. I like it. Okay, third shot. Let's chip this in. Come on, Orion. Fasted it, which is fine. It's usually what I go for on these chip shots. Tempo's very forgiving, but left to go. just a little bit off. Par City here to close out this front. Drop on in there for par. Good stuff. I like the birdie cities better. We got one more hole here on the front to close out. And you'll stay right there at five under after that one. The views here are amazing. So this is a dangerous drive. So it's 461 uphill about 75 feet to the hole. My question is this bunker right there. Is that is that in play right off the tee? We're about to find out. 
Uh, not really. No, that was a 104, so yeah, it definitely is in play. What a bounce there. Great sculpting from Mike and Steve. I don't know which one of you all sculpted yeah, that. that. Thank you. Ooh, looking at an elevated green on the approach here. Okay, we got 153. Uphill 30 feet. Gonna play about 163 with that elevation change. I'm gonna go 7 iron. Slight loft and backspin. Gonna come off well to the right. Now, depending on our swing plan, it's gonna be hard to read that. Let's just hit it straight. That is beautiful. Looks like this will be on the dance floor. Go in. Yes. That's how you close out a front. And there what? We go. Nice little approach shot. I am okay, not going to go out to the back nine and dedicate the first golf hole. You all have my word. You all saw that Monday. Nobody wants deja vu there. For me, getting confident and dedicating it. What a front nine, though. Bogey free. Eagle. A lot of birdies. What a front nine that was. Very fantastic design. Wow. All right. Pop a nice one out in the fairway on this one. Good news is water's not really in play on this golf, golf hole, so that's good. Nicely done. You got some good contact there. Swing is feeling good. Let's just hope we don't lose our swing. No losing our swing this week. Come on. Not this week. Okay, we're setting up about 100 yards out. 98. Uphill 17 feet. I think lob wedge. Slight D loft on it. Hit it straight, Ryan. That's going to be my new pep talk. It worked last time. That's not ideal. Wow, it just died. The problem is going up a club. You got to hit a very nice tough strike. partial, and I just wasn't feeling 16 it. 16 feet to the cup. Okay, 16 feet, steady right to left. Most of the break is at the beginning. For another birdie. This one's on a good line. Ah, no good. You know. And this one for the par. I guess, you know, Steve and Mike forgot to put the, the uh, magnets in the cup, but I did say I would never complain about lip outs after what happened to Wyndham Clark at the players this year. Even though technically be mentioning it okay, that I'm not going to complain. Is that, that complaining? <laughs> that saying. I don't Six even know anymore. I, I think no. And this is a short part four we're teeing off on now. Might be able to make a move. Oh, you all think what I'm thinking? Not shot dedication, but I'm thinking about a draw, a heavy draw around those trees. Oop, someone's feeling bold. This is nice. What? <laughs> and driving the old green, putting for eagle. Nothing How does that. that ball stop? Sending up here with a very long putt. I could never hit that shot again if I tried. Wow. I could never hit that shot again. We literally hit underneath that tree. That was the way they designed it. To where you could lay back or hit that perfect shot. But I think they designed this to actually roll down that slope. We hit it, I guess. We needed the slope. We didn't. We don't need the upper tier. No, that's probably a pin location. So to the other pin location, we might be perfect. But wow, I wish that slope was a little bit higher. Let's send this in for Eagle. What a golf shot. What? Love that design, though. Would have loved it more if that ball would have rode back. <laughs> but it still was really good. Just, uh, yeah, a little too much on there. A little too much Here's indeed, John. To go to seven under. That's a birdie. We're nice playing golf putt, today. And that is for birdie number five on the day. Ryan woke up, said, I want to win today. He's winning against the course, right? Okay, let's see what you can do here on this par three. Not against the competition. He's winning against you all, maybe. 
185 yards downhill 11 feet what a beautiful par three we gotta dedicate this beautiful golf hole right oh no ryan's round took a took a turn on a hole 12 all right mike and steve this one's for you 185 yards into the wind land it a bit short and sit it into the hole Hopefully this one will bounce to the right. Yeah, hopefully so, John. Bounce right, bounce right. It's not bad. Pretty good distance control. Just actually was not great. We're on the green with that one. Well done. 18 feet. Okay. 18 downhill 3 feet inches. To the cup. So it's right to left and then left to right at the end. The question is, is it straight in? I think it's actually more right to left. Barely. Oh. Well, I was right. And the only thing left to do is sink this putt and get your par. That pours for you, Mike well and Steve. Done. We've seen worse on course dedication. So that, we'll take it. That's two points. Stay before under. format. And now we Better than what we dedicated to pole. Rhett on the previous showcase video. What did we get? A double and two pars? <laughs> Or Rhett. 565 yard par 5 here. What a beautiful golf hole. You made good contact. That's the swing we needed on the last hole. With that swing, we might have aced it. What a golf shot. Beautiful. Let's attack this one. Par 5, why not? Alright, here's our second shot on the 13th. Hey, I'm feeling it. Another back-to-back -back shot dedications. Steve, Mike, this one's for you, you legends. 255, downhill 30, into a headwind. Come on. That's beautiful. Get your popcorn, everybody, and be ready for an eagle. Got to roll back, though. It's got to roll back. Or an Albie. Keep going. Look at you go. Next putt for Eagle. And you have this putt to get down to nine under par. Okay, this is one of those that could be in, or it could be ten feet past the hole. Oh, this is tough. Left to right, and then right to left, and left to right. One time, please, one time. Not the greatest swing plane and short swinged it. And here we go. This one for birdie. At least that's three points dedicated to the designers here. Five points on the showcase so far. And that we'll take will it. Drop for birdie number six on the day. I wanted that eagle. I short After swinged it. One, you are at eight under par. And pulled it by a mile. And swing plane's been pretty okay, good this round. Let's do this. Hole number 14 ready to go. Believe it or not, it actually has been. 466 yard par four here. Beautiful drive here across the creek. This is amazing. What a golf course. It should be fine, right? It's pretty much a wide open fairway there unless you send it into the water, which I think is possible with the 110 with the right wind. That's dangerous. We've got about 120 yards to get to that pin from here. 121, uphill 13. I like the gap wedge here. Take a little bit off. The wind is barely blowing from right to left. That's the shot right there. That could go in. For a landing on the short stuff could be good. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Dad, won't you? Oh, we like it, John. Putt here. This putt's We're good playing so golf this week. Nicely done. Dropping it in there for the bird. Cleaned good up stuff. the mistakes. From the first showcase at Kinsey Pass this week. Cleaned up the mistakes here. We're playing some flawless okay, golf here current score. in England. This one's a part four. 494 yards uphill nine feet. 
Oh, do we cut the gap or not? Oh, you have to. You get a much, much better advantage from the left. Uh, I mean, with the so. confidence I have right now, I can take these shots. Usually, I don't have this confidence off the tee. But today, the, uh, the swing just feels good. Huh. I don't know. All right, what do we got here? Looking like about 165. 164, uphill six feet, wind at our back. I am going eight iron, loft to backspin, full on attack mode. Gonna come off to the left. The wind shifted, you see that? Let's wait a little bit. The wind is shifting completely. Okay. I actually like that wind direction. Change the shot a little bit. Had good distance control there, just fasted it. That's perfect distance control. You gotta watch that the wind. Nicely. It will move. Got 24 feet away. 24 feet, uphill 2 inches. Steady left to right. Oh, it could be. Ouch. Right oh, another hole. lip out. That should have been a lip out, though. I just Man, did not read enough break. Wow, that was close. Looking good. Putting's been great this week overall. Good job in there with a par. Three holes left. We got a shot dedication left. Possibly a bonus eyes closed Albie on the final hole. That's right. And your score is currently nine under par. Good luck here on the second. Right, because didn't we dedicate... Wait, or did we... Yeah, that's right. So we have a par and a birdie. Five points. All right. Mike, Steve. This one's for you. You legends. Look at the wind shifting. The wind is shifting right into the ace. That's right. Thank you, wind. Just a beautiful view, though. Great swing on that one. That's beautiful tempo. Swing plane. If it was better, that would have been the one. Not a bad shot, though. Distance control has been on point this round. Nice approach. And 28 feet okay, from the top. Okay, 28 feet, uphill 3 inches, steady left to right. Make this for a dedicated birdie to 8 points to the designers. Oh, come on, get in. Yikes, that went right by. You know, the good news is our putting has been a ride on. Like, when we're missing, we are barely missing. And that's another dedicated par. Better than Monday. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's going to be a birdie and two pars so far. A potential bonus eyes close. If we hit the fairway on the 18th. This course is amazing. Every single golf hole, every single tee box... The planting is phenomenal. The framing, the sculpting. This course is perfection. Both courses we played this week were perfection. Wow, what a week of showcases. Kinsey Pass. And then now Tingle Creek, England. Play these courses, okay, everybody. This is about 155 yards to the pin. 153 uphill, 32. Into a slight headwind. Got to go up a club. I like seven here. Gonna hold. And it is. Okay, what a shot. I thought it might have came back, this but. Putt is a, about 14 feet. Get a birdie to move to 10 under par on this exceptional round of golf. It could be a good one. Get in Love there! It. Come on! Eight on what? This day. Imagine if the swing. Now, can I talk Stand about the range? One, ten, We're on the 18th. I and was best of luck getting terrible. On Kinsey Pass, you, you know, on the last showcase, I was like, yeah, I was, I was striping him. And I played good golf. I, I couldn't even, it looked like I had never played the game before at the range. It made no sense. I'm telling you all, 
my shot was all over the place. It, it looked like, yeah, 1,000 hours in this game, no shot. It looked like I had just started playing. So I was worried going into this round. And you know what they say about bad range sessions? Leads to fantastic rounds of golf. And clearly what they say about good range sessions, they lead to bad rounds. <laughs> okay. You better believe it. Bonus eyes closed dedications. Don't look away. It's happening. Second shot on the 18th. I don't know. It's got to be a driver off the deck. All right, Steve, Mike, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, I'm nervous doing this, but this one's for you all. Bonus eyes closed. Driver off the deck. Albi. Going to come off to the right. The wind's going to try to pull it back. All right. Close the eyes. Let's, let's get the line first. Okay. Close the eyes. Clear the mechanism. Just play golf, right? Just another day at the office. Come on, right? This one's for you, Steve. This one's for you, Mike. Don't see that every day. I guess you're Did just going to take sound that good. off the fairway and be on your way. John hasn't said anything. That's not a good sign. Let's just find golf playing there. That's uh, fine. The golf green, playing? What? Know, under regulation. Well done. All right. This next putt for Eagle. Okay. Whoa. That swing did not sound good, but that one's for you, Steve and Mike. All right. Oh, I can't wait to watch that one back. What a shot. 53 feet. Uphill five inches. Must have been a slow. Now, yes, I can read the green with my eyes open. That's a bonus, bonus shot dedication. <laughs> Everything has to be eyes closed. <laughs> oh, here we go, Mike and Steve. This one's for you. Problem is, you just, it's, it's the putt power. You have no clue. It's all in your imagination. Zooming by the hole. Zooming by the hole is not what I want to hear. Huh. 11 under for the round. If you can. That's not that, that bad. John made it seem like we were a mile off. We're not great, but... Okay, steady left to right. Come on. What a golf course. Here we go. One time. The putt appears to be online. Yes! And the putt drops and you will finish your round with a Get birdie. in there! Was that 10 points dedicated? Two pars and a birdie and a birdie. Okay. 11 under par at the end of this What point. a round. What a golf course. I... I cannot believe we just shot an 11 under. Putting was exceptional. And to think about that, we had four lip outs or something like that. We could have shot 14, 15 under. 78% fairways, well above my average. 88 gers, I mean, extremely above my average. 1.5 putts per hole, 11 under on the scorecard. That is a fantastic golf course. We started out hot there. I mean, look at that start. We started off hot and continue to play great golf. A bogey-free round of golf after a really bad range sessions. It shows that, uh, you know, whatever tempo you have in the range, just, it's never, never expect it to be the same on, on the round. Like, I've learned that. That's an easy favorite. That is an easy five-star. That course was exceptional from start to finish. Steve and Mike did it again. Thank you all for the hard work. Get on out there and play this golf course, everybody, and let me know how you shoot. Can you all take down Ryan Gamer with the 11 under? Are you kidding me? What a week of golf this has been, honestly. Made some mistakes at Kinsey Pass in the other showcase video. 
Hopefully we can bring it for the career mode series video tomorrow on PGA 2K23. It'll be posted the day after this. And there's plenty of other PGA 2K23 and other gaming content. We got the EA Sports career mode series right now in the Tour Championship. And it's going to be an epic finale of Ryan Gamer's rookie season. Got MLB The Show 24 career series, NHL 24. We got WWE 2K24. So many great series going on right now. Thank you all for all the support. If you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And if you want even more from me, check out my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. Would greatly appreciate. If you enjoy my content, get on over there, subscribe, tune in over there as well. I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.